All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 22, uh, where we're going to be solving up to, f you know, uh, adding problems with up to four add-ins. Uh, th they're not going to be, the answers themselves aren't going to be all that high, but, boy, the fact that we're going to be adding f up to four add-ins together. Now, the idea is, on this one, is we want to capitalize on the student's number sense so that they can add in non-traditional ways to get the answer quicker than using the standard algorithm. And I would say they might even get the answer more accurately, more often, um, with using a non-standard technique. For example, what I mean by that is, oh, let's say we're going to do, uh, if we were to do 3 plus uh, 8 plus 7, all right? So the idea would be we want students to quickly recognize number pairs that have a sum of 10, number pairs that equal 10. So there's a 10, and then we can say, well, 10 plus 8 equals 18. So 10 plus 8 gives us 18, all right? Now, once they cap they know that, we can capitalize on that and and make the problems a little bit harder. So 23 plus 38 plus 17. So the idea would be students now have a couple of choices on this. They could still see that 3 and 7 is 10, all right? 3 and 7 is still 10, but now they'll see that 20 plus 10 here is 30, plus this 10 from the 3 and the 7 is 40. So you've got 20, 30, 40. So that's 40 plus the 38. So 40 plus 38 gives us 78, all right? So the idea would be uh, to capitalize on number sense and, and the associative and the commutative property. Now, there's another way students might have done that problem. They might have taken, uh, let's see, I'll write it down here, 23 plus 38 plus 17. They can, they can do it in multiple steps. They can first add all the tens. So 20 plus 30 plus 10. So they could add all those together. That equals 60. And then plus, and then they would notice that, oh, wait, 3 plus 7 is 10 plus one, uh, 8 is 18. So 60 plus 18 equals 78. So there's another way they could record it. Um, but the idea is, on this lesson, we want students to use their number sense uh, to add in probably non-traditional ways. And we're going to start by uh, with a simple problem over here. So 6 plus 3 plus 7, and we're going to look for uh, bundles of 10. And we can see that 3 and 7 is 10. So 6 plus 10 gives us 16, all right? So now we're going to apply that same concept to the next problem. Only now you'll still see that um, here's our, our bundle that equals 10, the 3 and the 7, all right? So, but now we have 20 plus a 10, so that's 30 plus our bundle that equals 10, so together that equals 40. So now we have 40 plus 36, which is 76. Now, there's another way students might have done that. They could have said, well, 36 plus 23 plus 17. Another way they could have done this is they could have uh, taken apart or decomposed all of our numbers. So it's going to look like that. So now we can add our tens. So 30 plus 20 plus 10. So that equals 60. So I'll write down 60 plus, And now we can add our ones. So, oops, we got the 7 and the 3. There's 10. Plus this 6 is 16. So 60 plus 16 is 76. So we've got a couple of ways that students can do that. 
And now let's practice again, only this time the numbers are getting bigger, but we still have those same numbers in the ones plate value. Uh, so what we can do is we know that we have uh, 7 and 3, so that equals 10. But then we have 20 plus 10 is 30, so together these two guys together equal 40. And then we have plus the original 126, which is 166. Now, if students don't like that idea, they can do it a different way. They could take 126 plus 23 plus 17, and we can, uh, first, let's just decompose that 100. There's our 100. And now we can add our 10s. So you've got 20 plus 20 plus 10. So 20 plus 20 plus 10. There's 50. And I'll write that down. And then we have our 1s. So we've got 7 and 3. There's our 10. Plus our 6 is 16. And now we've got 166. So a couple of different ways to do these problems, but the whole idea is is using the strategy of looking for tens, uh, bundles of ten, to make our life a little easier. So let's practice a little bit more. So we can see a bundle of ten here. Six and four is ten. Nine and one is ten. So our answer is twenty. So now we're going to apply that to a little bit bigger problem here. So we see that we've got 6 and 4 is 10, but we also have an extra 30 and an extra 10. So 30 plus 10 is 40, plus the 6 and 4, which is 10, so that's 50. So those two numbers together equal 50. And then we see that 9 and 1 is 10, but we also have... 20 and 40. So 20 and 40 is 60 plus the 9 and the 1, which is an extra 10, so that's 70. So now we have 70 plus 50, and that equals 120. Of course, there's other ways we could have done it. We could have uh, taken that, to, I'm going to write it down here, taken that 29 plus 34 plus 41, plus 16, and I'm going to group that in there. Okay, uh, and we could have begun by adding all of our tens place. So we could have said, here's 20, plus 30, plus 40, plus an extra 10, and we add those up. We've got, uh, let's see, 100. And then we can add our 1s, and we can see that 9 plus 1 is 10, and we can see that 4 plus 6 is 10, so that's another 20. So now we have 100 plus 20 equals 120. So we have a couple of different ways to show that our answer is 120. And then our last one. Oh, let's see. We've got this and this. So we can, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So we've got the 6 and the 4. There's our, our bundle of 10. But we have 30 plus 50, so that's 80, plus the extra 10, so that's 90. And then we have, right here, we have 80 plus 10, so that's 90. But then we have an extra 10, so that's 100. So our answer is 100. Whoa! Our answer is 190. Of course, there's other ways we could have grouped this together to make to add this problem. And teachers and parents, feel free to give your students plenty of time to share their ideas. You could kind of turn this into a really nice number talk opportunity. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 22. 
using some pretty non-traditional uh, adding techniques by using essentially number sense and some decomposition, some commutative property to add uh, up to four addends rather than using that traditional algorithm where we stack everything up vertically.